Why was Tony Stark immune to Loki's scepter? In that film, Loki arrives on Earth carrying a scepter given to him by Thanos. We later learn it contains the Mind Stone, a powerful artifact capable of controlling people's minds, almost like linking them to a single shared consciousness. To make it work, Loki just needs to touch a person's chest with the tip of the scepter, and boom, they're on his team. But when he tries this same trick on Tony Stark in Avengers Tower, it fails completely, which seems to surprise even Loki himself. So why didn't it work? You might think the simple answer is that the scepter touched his arc reactor, not his actual chest. Well, the theory is a little more complicated and interesting than that, and the clues are in Iron Man 2. In that movie, Tony discovers and creates a brand new element. It's a source of clean, self-sustaining energy that he uses to power his new arc reactor. For years, fans have theorized that this new element is basically Uru. If that name sounds familiar, it should. Uru is the mystical metal forged by the dwarves of Nita Valir, and it's the core component of the most powerful Asgardian weapons. The special thing about Uru is its ability to absorb and channel immense energy, including magic. This is why Mjolnir can handle Thor's lightning, and it's how Stormbreaker is able to summon the power of the Bifrost. The Uru metal stores and redirects that power. Now, think about Tony. He uses his new element to power his suits and technology, making them so advanced that they seem almost magical. This connects perfectly to what Thor says in his first film. Your ancestors called it magic, and you call it science. Where I come from, they are one and the same. So, the theory is this. Tony's arc reactor, powered by his new Uru-like element, was able to absorb the magical energy coming from the Mind Stone, instantly weakening its effects and saving him from being controlled. And, if you need one final piece of proof, think forward to Avengers Endgame. How was a normal human like Tony able to wield the power of all six Infinity Stones at once when we saw that same power instantly destroy other beings who tried? It's because his technology, powered by that same unique element, gave him the ability to handle it. The very thing that saved him from Loki allowed him years later to save the entire universe.